mate, I had this amazing idea, right? I don't think anyone's done it yet, but what if I did a video on pyro weapon ideas? I know. Hello guys, how's it going? Tifty here, and I know I'm a bit late to the party. About a million people have already done this video, but it's fun. I, I enjoy watching these kind of videos, and I, I wanted to make one myself on this topic. We've got an update coming up for the pyro. It could be any minute. It could be out before I actually release this video. That'd be really annoying. Please don't do that. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, Tufty, what can you offer to this topic that I have not seen already? Uh, not a lot, I'm not going to lie. I can't promise too much, but at the same time, I've watched a bunch of videos about weapon ideas for the pyro, and I made sure that all the concepts I've got are ones that I haven't seen before, at least. So hopefully there'll be some original ideas in here. Now bear in mind, I have about as much authority on this topic as a dead pigeon has on being in a live pigeon or something. I don't play Pyro much. By the way, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Go easy on my footage in the background here. I don't ever play Pyro. I'm probably doing so many things wrong. But yeah, just had a bit of fun with him recently so I could get some footage for this video. So please go easy on me. As always, my videos are very high level. I don't really go into the numbers because it's a bit boring. It's just a bit of fun, nothing too serious. And another little caveat real quick. I don't actually think the Pyro needs loads of new weapons, so that's not what I'm saying here. I know some are coming. I think what's more important are the fixes that hopefully Valve are going to take a look at. But you know, at the same time, we're going to get some new weapons. Why not speculate? I've got some ideas. I've got some amazing drawings. I've got some amazing names. We're in for a treat. So, before we jump into the three ideas I have, just really wanted to quickly recap my goals when I'm thinking of these ideas. Um, as you know, I don't like little tweaks to weapons. I like big, juicy new concepts. So, my four goals I kind of outlined are new playstyles over tweaks, high skill ceilings, simplicity, and most important of all, fun. And some of the other weapons I heard of when I was looking through all the other videos that were out there, uh, which I thought were really interesting, and some of these ideas I had down myself, but I decided not to do because I've seen them elsewhere. So one of them was, instead of the air blast, you sort of suck the enemy in towards you. Kind of interesting, I like the idea of that. One was like a Tesla coil kind of weapon. Kind of reminds me of Winston from Overwatch. Apologies for mentioning the O word in one of my TF2 videos. Uh, chargeable air blasts, I thought was an interesting one. There was this other idea that was like a flamethrower which works kind of in reverse in that the further you are away from the enemy, the more damage you do. It kind of hurts my brain to think how that would even work, but again, I thought that was interesting. Obviously a Molotov cocktail, that's kind of the first thing that comes to mind, but I don't really think kind of area denial weapon like that would be great for TF2. I don't think it would really fit into the world, you know, being able to set a light to the floor like that. I don't know. And then finally, an overheating mechanic for Pyro could be really interesting. Anyway, let's jump into my ideas and take a look at what we've got. Number one, the flare pressure. It sounds a bit like air pressure. You are welcome for that kind of pun that doesn't really make any sense. All of these I've desperately tried to make a pun out of. This is an alternative flare gun. Let's go through what it does. It does no damage and it does not set enemies on fire. What? Tufty, what are you talking about? It's madness. But wait for it. It knocks back enemies when you hit them and it knocks them back if you hit the floor near them. Okay, interesting, okay. And also, more significant knockback on yourself. You know, it's the same way the detonator works. You could give yourself a little jump, but maybe it's a little bit more. So the idea here is it's not about doing damage to the enemy. It's about controlling where they are. It's about moving them around. I think you could do some really clever things with this. It's a little bit similar to Farah in Overwatch. Again, for the second time I've mentioned Overwatch in one of these videos. I apologise. So yeah, you shoot out this little um, explosive ball thing, hits the ground near the enemy, and I guess the strategy would be try and knock them towards you so you can get them real close and burn them to death. Or, you know, of course you can knock them off cliffs from a distance, that would be fun too. And I'm sure there'd be loads of other strategies like knocking them towards sentry guns, loads of other cool stuff you could do with it. I thought it was a really interesting, super simple idea. So it's ticking a lot of boxes for me. It's got the high skill ceiling. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I think it's dead simple and I have no idea if it would be balanced. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one. Little picture there. Looks exactly like the flare gun, but I just tweaked a couple of things because why not? Gave it a little um, canister of gas, all right? That's how it would work. It's very um, technical. Okay, so my second idea, the spray and pray. Look how I spell pray! <laughs> it's just genius. A forward slash a desperate attempt for a little bit of a pun. Okay, so this one's a bit more mental, I think. So very low damage. It's not primarily used for damage output. 
Hmm, interesting. Okay, so what does it do, Tufty? Tell me. Well, it's got super long range, and it would be more of a liquid projectile and a thinner stream and the idea is that you're meant to coat the enemies in this liquid whatever it is it could be a bit Jurati-esque and basically it puts a load of debuffs on them so you're like a super support pyro so yeah I was basically trying to figure out a slight twist on the pyro's role the idea is you become more of a support character you're not really doing the killing yourself you're alongside teammates you're coating them in this juice whatever it is and that helps with your push. The debuffs could be marked for death, I don't know if that would be like completely OP. They could be slowed fractionally, not too much because that could be really annoying. It could be a bunch of things, right? Maybe they can't take any healing sources. Maybe you could spray it on your own team and it gives them speed or damage increase. I don't know, maybe it's moving too far away from what the pyro is. I don't know, but I thought it was an interesting idea. And I got this lovely drawing here. It looks a bit like a super soaker, if you remember those guys. And that was kind of the idea. It looks a little bit also like a, a garden hose at the end there. So, um, yeah, I don't know. A bit too mental, maybe? Let me know what you think. Ooh, number three, the Tidal Rage. Now, again, what a beautiful name. Who knows what it does? It doesn't really matter when you've got a name like that. This is probably the flakiest of all of my ideas because I kind of had this one little idea and I built the entire thing around it and I don't know if it even works. So yeah, the concept is you can charge up a rageometer or whatever you want to call it. After a while, you get to use a special ability. I was thinking maybe the way it charges is that it's actually time spent on fire by enemies. So it gives you slightly longer afterburn. It's not about killing people, it's not about damage. It's purely about having as many people on fire for as long as possible, if you see what I mean. And that will build your rageometer. And I was thinking this could be something that builds kind of quickly, you know, something you could use quite frequently. Maybe more so than some of the uh, soldiers' backpacks and stuff like that. So what do you give me when I'm fully charged? I tell you, I will tell you what you get. <laughs> and uh, this is literally where the whole thing came from, but it basically shoots out a wave of fire. It has like a cone area of effect. About, say, knee high, it kind of shoots outward in a cone towards the enemies. If you've got several enemies in front of you, they're all set alight, it's awesome. But I also thought it'd be really nice for when um, a spy is retreating. That was kind of where the whole idea comes from. When you know when a spy's dead ring -a ring and he's all over the gaff, you don't know which direction he's gone in. I thought it'd be nice to have a counter for that and I thought maybe this kind of thing where you can sort of spray kind of a wave of fire in front of you towards where you think the spy has gone it's bound to hit them bound to set them alight and then you can kind of hunt them down have I gone a bit too mental with this one I don't know you tell me guys got a lovely little drawing there the end nozzle is sort of wide so you can do the special ability thing you got three little tubes they kind of charge up kind of looks cool yeah that's about it really again let me know your thoughts have I gone mental probably let's be honest Okay, we've got to do a bonus one. We always do a bonus one. It's the law of these videos. It's not as well thought through as the others, which is saying something. It's basically exactly the same as the flamethrower. You might have to nerf something about it. I don't know what that would be, but you can hold down, right click to charge a fireball. I know, why doesn't it exist already is what you're thinking. This would shoot a slow projectile, uh, which you can launch down corridors, across the map, at snipers, whatever you want to do. It's very slow, so easy to dodge. But basically, as you hold down the mouse button, your gun kind of shakes. It's building up a charge shot, and boom, fireball. It basically just gives the pyro another option for kind of long-range combat. It's actually not that unrealistic, I don't think. I don't think it adds loads of fun as such. So I don't know, I kind of like the idea of it. I think it could be fun for like jumping around corners, having one charged up. So if you find someone point blank and you shoot this massive fireball out, it does more damage than, you know, just getting your flamethrower out would. I don't know, it's too mental. Okay, we'll leave it, we'll leave it, it's fine. We don't have to do it. We don't have to build it if you don't want to, it's fine, it's fine. So yeah, that's it. That's all my ideas I have for you. I hope you enjoyed listening to those. Please let me know down below if any of them have a shred of credibility or if you think some of them are just completely ridiculous. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.